Oberon with my gateway beer to craft beer. My very first beer was Amber Ale, and um, whenever I taste that beer to this day, it reminds me of home and reminds me of the good old days back in the 90s when I first worked at the cafe. So, cheers to Amber. Bell's Amber Ale. Uh, the beer that made me fall in love with craft beer, I would definitely say is Sierra, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Just, um, it was so uh, unique, the hop expression was so good, and uh, they made such clean, interesting beers, even, even as long ago as it was then. So, Sarah Pale, still one of the great ones. Yingling. First beer I ever made me fall in love with craft beer was Too Hearted. The beer that made me fall in love with craft beer would be sparkling. However, I also like Winter White. I love the banana flavor and the scent is very warming. I know it says winter, but it makes you feel really warm inside. Love it. The beer that made me fall in love, the flagship that made me fall in love with craft beer was uh, Bell's Expedition Stout. My dad got me a six pack of it and he said, hey, a little something special for you. Uh, the guy at the store said it lasts for up to a year, so don't drink it all at once. You have to pour it into a glass. And I remember getting a glass and slowly pouring it in. And my mom was there and she was all like, is that molasses? And I remember taking a sip and it was so powerful and strong and flavors I never had before. My mind blew up and my life has never been the same since. It was probably Oberon. When I moved to Michigan after living in Florida my entire childhood, um, I wasn't really a beer drinker. And then I went through my first winter and spring came and Oberon hit the shelves. And I was really curious, what is this beer? And it's just so good. And every year you can't wait for Oberon to come around. It just embodies everything that is spring and summer. And it's so, so good. I really look forward to Oberon Day. Cherry Stout. Uh, what beer did I fall made me fall in with the craft? Um, honestly, it was Alaskan Amber, and it was uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I'm from Juneau, Alaska, so there's kind of the hometown thing, uh, but also just a really approachable, uh, well balanced, very drinkable beer. So I drank a fair amount of Alaskan Amber when I first started drinking craft beer. I've fallen in love with a lot of beers, but the beer that made me fall in love again would definitely have to be Lampshade. It's uh, when it, the first time when I went to go take a sip of it, I didn't know what to expect and I sipped it and it was fantastic and the aroma was fantastic. Uh, Rogue Dead Guy Ale. Uh, funny story about that. I used to have a poster in my room. My nieces, when they were real young, made me take it down when they spent the night one time because they were too scared of the skeleton. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'd be scared too. Yeah, glow in the dark.